Oh, wow. Guess we're live. Good times. Audio fine, visual fine. If I can get a check in the chat, that'd be amazing. Really appreciate it. Yeah, wait. In the meantime, audio good? Visual good? Anyone? Chime in. But yeah, five by five, beauty. Thanks, AJ. Happy Canada Day, guys. Um, I'm a little nervous. I didn't know if this would work, but uh, but it was like the only opportunity I had to really get in here and, and give this a go. Um, I was in the office today doing doing paperwork, doing invoicing, and uh, and I brought along a ration that I figured, hey, why not check it out? And I am, man, I'm floored. I am, I'm so stoked to see all you wonderful people in here. This is, uh, it's truly moving. It's nice to, nice to be around. Got my buddy Alec in the chat, Fireball Fred, Zeno, Tracy, AJ, Corey, Renee, Prickin' Readiness Reviews, Chris, man, I guess CT's in there. Love you, CT. He's my bae. Um, Aletha, Leah, man, Marilyn, you guys, you guys, thank you so much. Dennis was in here earlier. I mean, um, Tracy's in here. Guys, this is amazing. Marilyn, thanks for tuning in and just listening along. Drive safe, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll hopefully see you when the border opens and we get to get another meetup going. That'd be super cool. Um, Corey doesn't get a shout out because uh, he's a little weird, but uh, yeah, Rach is in here. Thanks, Rach, for volunteering for for just uh, moderating this. I mean, if anyone gets out of hand, uh, you know, just get them. Um, I might have to jump up here if the fan kicks in. It gets pretty loud in here. And uh, next door, the boys are uh, drinking a lot. So we'll modify as we go along. Oh, boy. Andrew, right on. Shall do, man. Speaking of tearing into, let's just do this right now. Um, I am trying to keep this kind of short. The wife's going to come and pick me up at some point here. Um, I'm also, just note, you don't notice this in the videos, but I say um a lot. And there's pauses and there's stutters. And I edit it all out. And this isn't going to happen this time. So that might be why I'm nervous. Um, so you're just going to have to use a mental block anytime I do anything stupid. If I accidentally swear, just just ignore. It's like, it's me. It's how I do things. All righty. So today I've got a beef ravioli. This is menu number one from the lunch menus back in 2012. This guy, uh, I found two full cases of 2012 and 2010s, uh, a lunch and a breakfast menu. And uh, I tried opening one of the 2012s already. It was fantastic, although it did have the Ritz crackers. If you ever run into the Ritz crackers in an old ration, they're bad. No matter how good it was stored, they're freaking terrible. Um, I, I forgot to actually bring my spare. I bought like a new one from the store. Uh, just in case I ran into this, because I don't want to eat it if it's bad. Whew. That's uh, that's how she goes. Um, one cool thing to note is this is the only year of the IMP that looks like this, the all-black menu. Before this, you had the colors, uh, you know, for green for breakfast, red for lunch, and uh, blue for dinner. They got rid of that, and then they changed everything. I mean, after, after that, 2013, everything went to sequential numbering, one through... I think 18 before it went up to eventually 21 and uh, yeah, super cool. So as Andrew mentioned a while back about tearing in and just kind of ramble on like uh, like your good pal B Temple. Um, he's more knowledgeable than me. So I ramble. He educates. Uh, CT, look, 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 you know what I, I'm doing this all through sheer strength. And kind of also trying not to drop everything on the floor. Ooh. Awesome. So I'm going to move the camera down. You tell me if this is a stupid idea or not. And uh, let's get some of this stuff out. <laughs> Suck in the gut. And you don't notice it that way. Over here. This is a pain bread. 
That I'm stoked for. This I'm not stoked for. This is the M&M's. I know some of you guys like this stuff. I, It's got a weird aftertaste, man. I like the chocolate's strange. I don't really like it. Oh, okay. So this is something I really wanted to try. This is a spice cake. I think Renee's had one. And, uh, and I'm stoked. I've never had one. All right. Beef ravioli. Doesn't feel too swelled up. Peanut butter. Two sugar packs, so that must mean that we have two whiteners in here. Two whiteners. And since we have a tea, we only have one coffee, which fine by me. I'll survive. We've got two fruit punches. Oh, hey, Bourbon Street Joe. Hopefully you're not working, man. The city's crazy. And Jordan, hello. Honey. Hot shosh, nondescript. Wet nap. Gum. You guys might recognize that as being MRE gum. Oh, man, this is so different doing this live. I feel like I'm wasting your time. But you can you can make a decision like an adult and decide to turn off when I start boring you. Oh, I don't know about that. That's an eight-year-old Campino, a yogurt candy. Matches made by Eddie Match with a hidden salt pack in there. Our white, slightly long-handled spoon. The old napkin, which nice and strong, one unit of strength. Oh, God. There it is. Pepper pack, toothpick. I really wish they brought these things back. The toothpick was such an iconic sort of, you know, IMP thing. And IMP 12 menu comment sheet. Back in the day before they decided Facebook was the most appropriate way to submit useful and constructive criticism. I bet you they are definitely regretting that judging from the comments I read on any other post. So that's that's it. So I'm just going to let you guys talk amongst yourselves while I go throw this beef ravioli, possibly, into uh, the kettle over there. Look at that. Not even swelled up. That is a Baxter's brand. You've got the cooking instructions right along the side. The... Uh, most people don't read this and they don't notice that it's not applicable to fruit and go ahead and boil the heck out of their fruit cocktail. But, uh, you know, if you're going to take the time to read the directions, try reading it all. So, excuse me as I wheel myself over there. Oh, my God. And we're eating. Beauty. <laughs> Rotate up. Yeah. So there'll be some background noises that kettle kind of goes at it. That is my go-to method for heating, though, if you're in an office setting. I think Renee's got her down pat, too. CT uses a microwave like a Neanderthal. But, you know, that's how we do it. I'm just going to go take some time to kind of organize this all up so I can fit the tray and decide what the heck I'm going to eat. Joe, my leg is doing well, man. Um, I am now weight bearing, which is pretty cool. I, I couldn't before. And uh, the doc gave me the go ahead on the uh, on Monday here to start trying to walk in it and gives me a note. I've got two more weeks of, uh, of non weight bearing and or I'm sorry of, of weight bearing in the boot. And then, uh, I'm starting physio, so yeah, I, I'm stoked though. I mean, I've been kind of, I'm, I'm sorry, you're a captive audience. Now I'm going to talk about it. Um, 
I've been trying to lose weight like crazy. I'm down 45 pounds. I was down well, 20 something when I broke my leg and I'm just like, uh, oh, I am so screwed now. You know, it sets me back so far. But um, CT, none, bud. I mean, you, you, maybe you should stop uh, with this keto thing. I don't think it's treating you well. But uh, um, yeah, I've, uh, I, I can't wait to get out there. It's, it's, I'm itching to get out in the mountains. Like you can't see it behind me because the, the way the lighting's set up, but we got some gorgeous mountains out here, gorgeous trails. And, uh, and I just want to kind of get, get active. I've kind of, I've kind of lost a bunch of weight just through essentially not being able to reach a refrigerator. My wife, Cassie, um, she, uh, yeah, I just told her, bring me like fruits and vegetables and healthy food and small portions. And it's, it's done wonders. You know, I, I, I eat and I get full, but, uh, you yeah. know, anyway, this is a spice cake and it's exceptionally light and whew, it doesn't smell that bad. Nikki, I hear you. I wish carbs didn't count, but my body doesn't think so. That is a, that's kind of a really diminutive little cake. There's hardly anything in it. Hmm. Smells great, though. Spice cake. Flour and sugar. Well, that's why. Carrots, canola oil. 220 calories. And that's that's a 65-gram little chunk of whatever. That's fantastic. All righty. So that's nice and heated up over there. Let's start getting the pain bread. Readiness, I hear you, man. Get that a lot. The spice is fantastic, though, in that. Um, it smells like the carrot, like a carrot cake should. Oh. Oh. The hamburger, the pain burger, which I also have one over here, is nothing compared to the original Petite Pain. That's so good. Let's see. What else am I getting ready here? I don't know how any of you guys do these lives. Like, I'm just a, I'm just a mess trying to figure out what to say and, and all that. Leah, of course, everyone should play the drinking game. It's hard, though. This is also kind of nice that you just missed what I did there. I definitely did not just pour the drinking powder into my coffee cup. No. No, I would never have done that. But we got a nice little fruit punch. It's in exactly 25 mils of water. CT, man, those first three videos, I absolutely despise. I, I know you like them, but... Oh, boy. <laughs> I have to, uh, no. Oh, man. Does anyone actually know what's in? Uh oh. I'm going to have to hobble over there and turn off that fan. Excuse me one moment. Uno momento, por favor. That's going to annoy the shit out of me. All right, that's a lot better. That fan was brutal. Couldn't even hear me think. Um, Dan, of course it's 20 or 250 mils of water. And of course, I, I did measure it. All right. And uh, wait near tea, coffee. Does anyone care if I... I forgot about the tea being a, a real possibility here. It's, it's orange Pico tea. You could buy this at pretty much any grocery store for like probably about the same as the deep and rich coffee is cheap. 
and uh, I, I don't care. I don't, I, don't, I don't really like tea. Sorry, Corey. I know you're British. <laughs> Mark, I'm falling apart, eh? Well, that's that's what happens. I hit uh, 34 years old and things start going downhill. I can't imagine if I was like like CT's age, but I'm picking on CT a lot. I, I can't help it. All right. The coffee instant. Mm. Mm hmm. Excuse me, I appear to have fruit mix in the bottom of this for some reason. Yep, that happened. Good enough. It's going to be kind of pink in there, but. All right, so 15 minutes in, and I haven't even opened up a main. Jesus, I don't know how you guys put up with me. So I think this coffee is a, uh, a spray dried component because it is rather fine. The freeze dried stuff gets um, pretty, like it's, it's pretty chunky. You know, they, they essentially make it into a cake and then bust it up where the spray dried stuff's a lot more fine. And I think that's what we're dealing with. Um, you know, it's not as good as the espresso roast. It's not as bold. Mm. Mm hmm. But it's still good. Uh, again, because this is my first live stream, I'm, I'm not going to use the whitener or the sugar packs. I just, I like black coffee, and if I'm going to embarrass myself publicly, I'd like to be able to at least do it in a little bit of style. Yeah, AJ, I mean, it's it, no fruit punch flavored coffee here, thankfully, but there is a slight reddish tinge to the outside of the cup. Oops. And yes, Joe, it is Black Creek Rifle. Um. Yeah, it's censored. I'll, I'll show that side. There you go. Now, the whitener smells fine, so it's definitely held up all right. Fantastic. All righty. So I'm going to get everything kind of out on the plate, and then we'll go down and, and take a look at what kind of what kind of food we're really dealing with here. So... Coffee tea whitener, honey, there we go. Just like, where did I put everything? Okay. That's because I'm totally prepared for this. I thought I had a knife kicking around here for spreadables, but uh, we'll just make do. I actually usually have a knife on my person. I should have double checked before turning this thing on. I know readiness reviews is going to judge me for not having a um, not having an EDC on hand. No. Oh man. Well, this will work. As a geotechnical engineer, we're used to kind of ending up sniffing dirt and eating dirt. So might as well use my my sampling. My sampling tool. Hot sauce. That's there. That's there. There wasn't actually a lot of food in this. Like items. Fine by me. But, huh. CT33 on board. Wow, guys. I am shocked. I can't believe you watched this. I mean, this is so great. Hello, Danny. How you doing? Are you guys getting that much rain in the uh, Vancouver area as we are? I hope not. We're getting hammered by rain. Not that it matters. I can't go outside. Okay. Everything is looking perfect, guys. This is uh, this is amazing. 
The only thing I still am worried about is that uh, Campino. Sixth. Hey, welcome, buddy. I know. You know, you only have yourself to blame if you're watching me here today. And, uh, you know, I, I really appreciate it. it uh, mark it down as like community service if you guys want to, you know, make this make this Canuck feel special. You know, it is Canada Day, guys. So, I mean, um, we, you know, we didn't rebel against the Queen like you guys did down in the States. But uh, we still ended up with a country. Imagine that. If you can call us a country. Personal preference. Oh, James, were you awake during the, the your surgery there? You said a Dewalt impact driver setting screws into your spine. Man. Oh, oh. oh man. Dan, to answer your question about where I keep my uh, my ration stash, I'm not going to give you GPS coordinates because uh, well, I want to maintain the. But I, I keep mine down in the basement uh, in a crawl space. It's uh, it's always cold down there. You know, it's less than you know, even in the winter time at you know, about 10 to 15 degrees, or rather the summertime when it's hot, it's about 10 to 15 degrees. And then I've got a humidity control down there and everything like that. Um. Corey, we just borrow your queen, man. We're not a puppet state, right? Dub C, welcome. Thank you. All right, I have everything ready to go. I am ready to chow into this. Now, I don't want you to watch me eat. Let's look down at this food here. Why are we go? You'll just see the crumbs falling out of my face as I do this. So, I mean, maybe that's just as gross. Do, do, do. Oh, Kaylin, nice. That, that makes sense to be awake during that. Oh. All righty. I'm really not as worried about this ration as I should be. But, oh. Oh, come on. These peelable, these little tear notches are terrible. If you caught the pun. Oh, wow. I actually was not expecting this. I have never had the beef ravioli, and I'm trying to think if I've ever seen it. Um, this is, I was kind of expecting Chef Bayardi, not uh, the amount of beef in here and you know, lack of sauce is uh, a little bit shocking to me. At least it's got some good color. <laughs> and it's burning my fingers. Happy days. Right on. Smells great, guys. Uh, Danny, for live, anyone, if you guys ever wondering, anyone can do this. And if I'm doing it, that means anyone can go live. Um, but you got to be on a computer. You can set up a webcam, whatever. And, uh, and you can click go live on right on the web page. So if you got a laptop, you should be able to do it. Um, yeah, <laughs> Alec, I, Alec I, I think I'm going to be fine. I don't think there's going to be any any untowards effects from this. But uh, as usual, I get the main out and make you stare at the main. Well, I eat other things that don't matter, like this honey covered piece of IMP bread. If you if you you know nuke this or um, put it in boiling water in the package or even toast it, it, it tastes a lot better. But this is absolutely fine. Mm. Wow, that is great. And that's not too bad, honey. Nice and sweet. It didn't separate or crystallize like sometimes you get in some older rations. Mm. Dennis, uh, what uh, what program are you using on uh, to, to live stream there? Man, I have to figure out how to talk and read at the same time. That's apparently really difficult. <laughs> and sixth heck yeah buddy and they took away our ars up here in canada so i mean now i got a coffee cup i guess and a t-shirt thank you thank you trudeau i appreciate it all righty this spice cake look at this spice cake. it's so tiny 
and it weighs like next to nothing. Mm. Oh man, I, nice and spicy, like um, you know your usual kind of Christmas spices, which I can't off the top of my head remember what they are, and I can't Google it now that I'm sitting here. Hmm. Oh no way. Oh no way. That is that is top shelf. That's great. Hmm. Like cinnamon, brown sugar, probably all spice and that sort of thing. And somebody that cooks will know I don't cook. I I just barbecue and smoke things. Oh man. I'm I'm in, I'm blown away. I'm I'm so impressed by that. That is so good. Cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, allspice, and maybe ginger. Thanks a lot, Kalen. I, I could believe that. Uh, it'd be it'd be a light hint of ginger if it was there. You know, there's something something there. But this is a fantastic. Ooh, where's the camera? Yeah, that is a fantastic little piece of deliciousness, and it's springy. It's delicious. Uh, oh, I am so stoked I got to try that. As for the M&Ms, uh, uh, sometimes when they're they're heat damaged, you can kind of get a, a little bit of a hint, like they will swell up and crack around the perimeter as, as that chocolate expands. These ones are in good shape. There's a couple broken ones, but I'll chalk that up to, um, to just packing and all that. But, like, they're still nice and dark. And, uh, and they taste bad. I just, it's just got a weird aftertaste for M&Ms, like the chocolate. The peanut M&Ms are, are amazing when they're not stolen by my three-year-old. Wow. Wow. Yep. <laughs> And Renee, you were right. That that spice cake is is a magical little number. Hmm. I guess I haven't had an actual bite of the peanut butter. And this is almost like it's so basic. And I almost hate doing it every time, like peanut butter and honey, peanut butter and jam. You know, but sometimes with Canadian rations, they just throw it in there and I assume, you know, you could you could stockpile them for later, but to to do a review and use up all the ingredients you end up making a ridiculous amount of, of bread product and spread sandwiches. Mm. Hey, Don, thanks for joining us, man. Really appreciate it. Bus stops here, great. That's so awesome. Man, I'm, I'm blown away. I, I, man, I have a hard time trying to conceptualize that anyone would show up here. And I really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. This is a nice Canada Day gift. I don't intend to make many of these just because it is such a um, a time restricted thing for me. Like I, I I need to do it in small little chunks with the children and the work and all that. That I just can't dedicate like a every Saturday night kind of thing. So so yeah, thank you guys for coming. Put the M and M's in the PB and PB and honey. Um, no, because then it'll taste like M&M's. I don't want to do that. <laughs> all righty. Look at all that beef on that. Oh, man. It's your typical IMP beef that you're going to find. And, in, in, um, actually one of my favorite mains is the, uh, the beef macaroni, Chinese style beef macaroni. Um, nothing screams Chinese like beef and macaroni. Mm. So the noodles are a little undercooked, but but the main itself tastes really, really great. Yeah. No, I like that. Nice and simple. It's not your Chef Boyardee. It doesn't have that same undertone that uh, Chef Boyardee does. The, the sauce is a lot more... Like the the tomato really shines through a lot more, and the uh, the noodles are kind of annoying me, but they're not bad. Mm. 
Yeah. El Dente, I guess. But. Hmm. Absolutely fine. Lots of filling. Lots of sauce. Nice and sweet. Actually, very sweet. Wow. Hmm. Where did I put that? Oh, that's a spice cake. I see organization is one of my finer skills. Beef ravioli. Oh, man. There it is. Actually, I had the French above the English, which really screwed me up there for a second. Hmm. Ricotta. Parmesan, okay. Yep. Four grams of sugar. I do find that my, my one main complaint about IMPs is that it's just like sugar dominant, cheap, easy carbs, but you know, that's how it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm so happy. I am so happy. <laughs> Eight year old ravioli. Just great. <laughs> mm. I did kind of, I was kind of worried that this might taste like Chef Bayardi and, you know, you kind of want a different experience, want to try something else. And I also didn't want to use the cop out that, oh boy, you know what? I should have probably looked at this hot sauce before. <laughs> oh boy. Mm, well, I'm not going to eat half of this. I got lulled into a false sense of security on that. That is the milkiest, weirdest looking hot sauce you will ever see because it's not supposed to be like that. So now let's just do a little bit of surgery to get it the heck away from the good stuff. Oh, no. No. All righty. Dang. Well, that took a dive. Huh. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, that's not supposed to be that color or smell like that. Oh, yeah. Hmm. And yeah, when it's aged cayenne red peppers and it comes out milky and yellow. Yeah. Yeah, Paul, well, you learn something new every day. And, uh, and yeah, well, geez. <laughs> At least this is fine. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Jeez, I'm so happy. The one thing that you guys don't get on um, on my normal videos and that probably will happen in real life is that I tend to make up stupid songs a whole heck of a lot. I'm trying really hard not to right now. Oh, yeah. It drives my wife absolutely crazy. But that's what you're supposed to do. This is so good. I got to stop eating this. You know what? No, I won't. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. All righty, boys and ladies. Coffee time. I'm not going to play you a song, Mr. Piano Man. Don't make me. Oh, that coffee is your usual run-of-the-mill instant coffee. It's not bad, but a hot black cup of coffee. Oh, my soul. And Alex, yes, this is uh, this is my, my attempt at getting more calories than at home. This is not a salad. It might actually taste better because I haven't been eating salads and <laughs> omelets and stuff. Lots of omelets. Have you ever put a broccoli in an omelet? Cassie has. Not bad. Fruit punch is great. All in all, aside from a massive screw up on my part of not double checking a spread before I got going, this has been amazing. And now, this is the part I'm worried about. 
this Campino, like the the last time I had a brand new Campino was probably in 2004. And then I went ahead and had that 2004 uh, um, Lung in a Bag, the omelet review. And I just popped one of these things in my mouth, not thinking like this is made of yogurt. And uh, that was a mistake. It was gooey and it really, really lit my mouth on fire. Hmm. So far, so good. It's, there's a taste there for sure, but it's not bad. Like they're creamy and fruity. Like I would say, like if you ever got one of the yogurts you had to mix up um, in the bottom, that, that strawberry flavor. Uh, so like a plain yogurt mixed with strawberry is exactly what this, this tastes like. And it's not, <laughs> it's not bad. Whew. Oh man. We got so close to having an absolutely perfect ration. This was amazing. Eight years old. I don't know the storage condition, but the last one I had was was absolutely fantastic. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, CT, some drama in the house, eh? Well, you know, that's how it goes. You know, with any community, I suppose. Mm -hmm. but, I don't know. Oh, Danny, no, no, no songs, no songs today. <laughs> I embarrass myself often enough, but, um, but yeah, guys, this is, uh, this turned out amazing. I'm actually on schedule. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. And this, uh, this Campino, like, yeah. <laughs> I'm not spitting it out immediately and regretting my life. That's, um, yeah, it's great. Nice and creamy, delicious. And Rach, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Trying, trying. We'll, uh, we'll lose. I got 30 more pounds to lose and I'm going to hammer away at it. Um, I did used to eat a lot of rations and I haven't been a lot. So it's probably going to be toned back down, get on a regular schedule. Dub C has got it all figured out. He's doing pretty well with his, um, his weight loss maintenance plan and uh you know maintaining keto and doing that sort of stuff um with with me i mean there's no there's no real secret to my my weight loss other than just eating healthy and and uh and working out hard and uh just gotta keep it up and uh yeah well you know i'm kind of at a loss for for what to say or what to do next i mean this is uh this is a 2012 um one thing I will, mm -hmm. I've got so many rations. People send me a lot of rations too, that it's, it's kind of tough to, um, tough to figure out what to do next. I'm either going to do this 1999 barbecue beans with Frankfurters, which is absolutely garbage. Um, or, uh, or possibly start catching up on some of the backlog. I got, I got a Chinese one, um, in the works that uh, that Sam's World of Rations sent me, I've got a bunch of stuff that I've traded for that I'd like to get out there and get some names out there. Like, there's so many great people in this community um, that I I want to just be like, watch these people. They're great. Um, they're generous. They're they're amazing salt of the earth kind of people, and uh, and I want to get kind of through some of that backlog. So we'll see. Kind of. We'll see, you know, if the 2020s come out, I might get distracted, but I really, really got to start working on, hopefully on videos, weekly basis, whatever, um, start hammering it out. And, uh, and yes, Don, I do have a 19, it's actually 1990. Um, actually, I think that one's a beef ravioli. I think. Might be a nice follow-up. Find out, find out if it changed at all. Um, and we'll see. We'll see what's up. There's there's a lot of stuff. I even I've even got hmm, part of a uh, uh, I think it was an '86 or something like that. Some some old IMPs, and then that'd be really cool. Awesome guys. Well, you know, I'm just going to talk your ear off about nothing important. So let's uh, let's end it right there. That was under an hour. Um, I really appreciate you guys coming by. 
I love it. I absolutely love this. Um, and yeah, I missed I missed getting out there and doing some reviews. <laughs> it's, uh, it's been bugging me a lot. Uh, and yeah, that is what it is. You know, I can actually in two weeks time, two weeks, I'll be able to get down the basement stairs, which should be good. Like <laughs> to get into the ration area, I literally have to go down a ladder, a wood rickety ladder. And, uh, and I cannot do that right now. Even sending the wife down there, like, can you get in 2012? She's like, where is it? I'm like, I don't know. It's, it's in a case. There's red ri written on the side. It's in there. You know, and about half hour later, she's like, got it. I'm like coming up out the stairs. So, you know, but two weeks time and then I can get back to really, really filming regularly. Thank you guys. Oh, I'm just going to keep talking. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. You're amazing. Every single one of you. I can't wait until we do another meetup. If if the border is not going to be open in August, I am predicting that right away. I'm probably not going to get down to uh, to Kentucky in August, but here's hoping. Right arm. Take care. <laughs>